Hi Prep, my name is Shindu Alpito from Medcom.id. Thank you for your opportunity. I have oh, okay. several questions. So here we go, Prep. <laughs> What's your biggest uh, inspiration for new songs or even album? Is it is that about pandemic or about the war that happened recently maybe? We haven't done any war songs. No, we yeah. have. I think um, we, were, we were kind of, um, even though we made our album during the pandemic, We'd written all the songs kind of before it started getting bad. So I think we were kind of relieved in a way that the record took us to somewhere a bit different that wasn't kind of, you know, okay. immersed in all of the kind of horrible stuff that was going on. Um, and I guess, yeah, we, prep music tends to take us to places that are maybe slightly... Um, a bit sunnier yeah. than the grimmer things that are going on in the world. What about the lyrics, maybe, or the themes of the song? You know, I think they're often about, uh, you know, relationships and yeah. often about things not going so well in relationships or things being harder, kind of communication being difficult. Um, yeah, what it is to try and sort of be with someone and know exactly what's going on in their head and, you know, how to relate to other people that you feel kind of close to. I mean, people talk, I, I think have kind of pointed out that there's there's often a sort of bit of a, a kind of interesting dynamic going on maybe between the, the kind of groove and the kind of quite light, bright feeling of the music and then the lyrics being a little bit more sort of melancholy. Um, um, I and I think that's a, that's a mix that we quite like working with. Yeah. Maybe the new stuff are coming in the near future or this year yeah. maybe the album yeah. i mean so we've we're kind of planning to release i think like one song at a time for okay. the next few months so we're not really thinking about it being an album we're maybe thinking that when songs are out they might kind of get grouped together as eps but really it's song by song and we've got a few ready and then yeah we're here in the studio today kind of working on some new stuff and good luck <laughs> new stuff. Well, hey, we go, we'll let you know how it goes <laughs> okay, speaking about your music, you know, it feels bring up 80s vibes with with all of the goodness, you know, disco, house, funk, city pop. What do you think about 80s music? I think the 80s is a very underappreciated decade in terms of music. Uh, I guess because of the production aesthetic, you know, the the very loud reverb on the drums and the treble and just all of that stuff you think of, but I think it's really one of the great decades of pop music, really. I, I think it that was when pop music, I think, really reached its, its probably its peak, I think, um, when you think of the songs, uh, and it kind of just went to that play. I think for, in terms of pure songwriting, it was, it's really the peak of, of pop, pop music songwriting for me is the 80s. Uh, and I think things have been a bit more uh, sort of maybe self-conscious, you know, in the, now in the in the modern age. And in the 80s, people used to just really go for it and put a sax solo on something if that's what it needed, you know. So good. Okay, so so many media and um, listener call you British city pop, and what do you think about that? It's great. I mean, it's it's funny because we. We hadn't really heard of City Pop when we started doing prep. Um, and I think, yeah, it was, I remember on, talking to a journalist in Thailand when we were first touring there. She was talking about uh, these City Pop records that were kind of becoming really popular there. And she was saying, you guys must have heard this because you sound so like <laughs> it. And we were like, we, we really haven't. But, um, but I, I can kind of, when we listen to it, I think we can understand the... You know, the, the, what, the kind of parallels that there are. Um, you know, we're also, I, I guess that we're making music largely inspired by American music of the 70s and 80s, which is the okay. same kind of stuff that was inspiring those sort of yeah, city pop producers. Yeah, and R&B records, yeah. and records, yeah. all the late 70s, early 80s. That was the stuff that originally we were influenced by. And it happens yeah. that it was also city pop's influence sonically. Very, the spectrum is very large, you know. 
from yeah, yeah. American Steely Dan maybe or <laughs> the... yeah 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 Absolutely very much yeah cool. <laughs> okay if you can choose one musician to collaborate with who will who who will you choose for oh, let's try and be modern right it's okay. too easy to... who's who's on I, the phone well I don't know I don't know if I can think of anyone in particular but I've always wanted to prep to collaborate with a rapper but it would okay. really have to be the right thing I can't I kind of almost can't say who it would be but to hear a rapper on a prep track would be very cool which he kind of did on a remix we did for this UK band called Snake Hips oh. uh, he had a feature uh, from Chance the Rapper and that, that was a, that was a good combination I think I mean Donald Fagan would be amazing from Steely okay. Dan to, you know okay. <laughs> yeah like a song at the piano with him that would be oh. quite something I would love us to collaborate with Mac DeMarco. There's just such oh. an easy, you know, he's got something so effortless about him, about the way he writes songs. And I'd love to be a fly on the wall and just like, yeah, have him like work with yeah. us. I mean, to be fair, we probably so overproduced, you know, Sonics. I don't know if he would be into it. Yeah. But yeah. I just love his songwriting and I'd love to, yeah. Maybe It's going to be great. <laughs> We'll set it up. I think. <laughs> okay, this is the last question. Uh, this is the trivia question. You know, you've been come to Indonesia in 2020, and what do you love the most about Indonesia? Oh, I mean, oh, there's a lot of things, aren't there? The, uh, I mean, you know, the fans and the yeah. kind of excitement okay. at the shows, the food. We've had some amazing meals. You know, <laughs> like eating on the beach in Bali and. Oh late night bowls of special stew in that, that Jakarta <laughs> hotel and um, the heat. I'll never forget like the the wall of heat. Yeah, the heat is intense. When we'd, we'd flown out of like winter in the UK, landed in Jakarta and then those like door, the sliding doors at the airport open up and you walk out into that wall of heat. That was just amazing. I'd never felt anything like it. And we're definitely missing some of that right now. You know? Okay, yeah. maybe in the next yeah. you you can um, listen about Indonesian 80s music. It's very good, very nice. Oh, what's uh... oh yeah, give us yeah. a tip. Yeah. Love to, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you, Prep, for your time. Good Thanks luck so for much, your man. next album. Thanks so much. Yeah. Hey, look, great to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet hopefully, you. hopefully can see you in Jakarta maybe in the yeah. near future. It's gonna happen. Yeah. See you then, man. Fingers crossed. Okay. See you soon. <laughs> See you. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Medcom.id, a part of Media Group Network.